Throughout history, the world has witnessed the rise and fall of countless empires. Yet, some stories prevail against all odds, leaving an indelible mark on the sands of time. In the realm of fashion, one such legend is Gucci. Truly fortune savors the bold, and today, we unveil the gripping tale of Gucci's relentless pursuit of excellence, its profound impact on the fashion industry, and the intricate business strategies that have made it an unrivaled titan in the luxury market. Welcome to Stardom Central and let's get started! The Italian fashion label was founded in 1921 by a gentleman named Gucci of Gucci. He started the brand in Florence, Italy, and it has since become one of the oldest and most renowned Italian fashion brands in the world. Interestingly, Gucci of Gucci had an interesting journey before he started the label. He actually worked as a butler in London for a while, where he had the opportunity to meet famous personalities like Winston Churchill and Marilyn Monroe. It seems that his interactions with these celebrities and his exposure to their opulent lifestyles inspired him. After his time in London, Gucci of Gucci returned to Italy and began working for a luggage company called Franzi. This experience allowed him to study leather craftsmanship and artistry. Eventually, he felt confident enough to venture out on his own and started selling leather goods and travel items. The brand expanded over time and even ventured into horse riding equipment. Today, Gucci is a global phenomenon and its logo is instantly recognizable as a symbol of luxury. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing for the brand. It has faced numerous challenges and business rivalries along the way. In fact, Gucci has been involved in family feuds and intense competition, but it has managed to overcome them all and emerge as a true champion in the fashion industry. Let's talk about the challenging time of Gucci. So after their father, the founder of Gucci, passed away, Gucci's sons Vasco, Aldo and Rodolfo took over and continued to run the company. They were determined to build on their father's legacy and make Gucci even more successful. And boy, did they succeed! The brand's public image flourished and it became even more renowned. However, in 1935, they encountered a bit of a setback. Italy was facing a League of Nations embargo and this had a direct impact on Gucci. Leather, a crucial material for their products, became scarce. With limited supplies, the brand had no choice but to get creative and find alternative materials to keep their business going. It was during this challenging time that Gucci came up with the brilliant idea of using an interlinked diamond symbol, which has since become iconic. This clever move allowed them to create distinctive and eye-catching designs that set them apart from the competition. Transformation in the House of Gucci Oh, let's talk about a game-changing moment for Gucci that happened in 1990. That's when a brilliant and visionary creator named Tom Ford entered the picture. He was a young and smart talent who had a knack for fashion. At first, he took charge of Gucci's ready-to-wear collection, but his talent was undeniable. And in 1994, he was appointed as a creative director of the entire brand. During this time, Gucci went through some ownership changes. The founder Gucci himself sold the remaining stocks to Invest Corp. Unfortunately, in a tragic turn of events, Gucci passed away in 1995 just a few years after Tom Ford's arrival. It was undoubtedly a loss for the fashion world. However, Tom Ford stepped up and became the driving force behind the revitalization of Gucci. He brought in a fresh perspective and infused the brand with his innovative ideas. One of the notable changes was his integration of hypersexual design concepts and impactful campaign visuals, which really made Gucci stand out. In the fall of 1995, Tom Ford's collection took the fashion world by storm. His sleek, minimalist 90s fashion designs were a huge hit commercially and they caught the attention of A-list celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow, Jennifer Lopez and Madonna. You could spot them strutting down the red carpet looking stunning in Tom Ford's creations. Another noteworthy achievement during this time was the relaunch of the legendary Jackie Bag in 1999. With a few updates, it quickly became the must-have fashion item of the year. People couldn't get enough of it and it became a symbol of Gucci's renewed success under Tom Ford's creative direction. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. How does Gucci make money? Gucci rakes in the cash. They've got a diverse lineup of products that are all about luxury and style. From fabulous wallets and purses made with top-notch leather to unique and eye-catching shoes and ready-to-wear clothing, Gucci knows how to capture the hearts and wallets of their customers. 
According to the Italian Fashion House's website, Gucci has a whopping 212 stores in emerging markets worldwide. That's quite impressive when you compare it to their one of five stores in Western Europe. It just goes to show that Gucci's popularity knows no bounds and is spreading its fashionable influence far and wide. Gucci has been catering to affluent and elite customers for decades, providing them with exceptional services and exquisite products. Now, when it comes to e-commerce, luxury companies had different opinions. Some believed it was more suitable for selling inexpensive to mid-priced goods, while others saw its potential in selling high-end products. But let me tell you, Gucci saw the possibilities and jumped on the e-commerce bandwagon. They recognized that digital platforms could be a game-changer for their brand. So they took their high-end fashion offerings online and boy did it pay off! In 2022, leather items were the stars of Gucci's revenue, accounting for more than half of their worldwide income. It just goes to show that their exquisite craftsmanship and premium materials have struck a chord with their loyal customers. Whether it's a sleek leather bag or a finely crafted leather accessory, Gucci knows how to make their customers feel like they're indulging in pure luxury. So, Gucci's money-making game is strong, thanks to their wide range of high-end fashion products, with their leather items taking the lead in driving their worldwide income. They've certainly mastered the art of capturing the hearts, desires, and wallets of fashion enthusiasts around the globe. What makes Gucci so successful? Gucci's success lies in its ability to consistently launch compelling collections that convey powerful messages. They have mastered the art of storytelling through their advertisements, collections, campaigns, and in-store environments. This cohesive and impactful approach has captivated the fashion world and kept customers coming back for more. Who owns Gucci's name? According to the popular brand, Gucci is currently led by CEO Marco Bizzari, who took on the role in December 2014. As for the brand's creative direction, that responsibility falls on Alessandro Michel, who became the creative director in January 2015. Gucci itself is part of a larger luxury goods corporation called Caring, which is based in France and produces a range of luxury products. How does Gucci promote its brand? Gucci utilizes a variety of channels to promote its brand in the luxury fashion market. They organize numerous fashion shows to showcase their latest collections and create buzz among industry insiders and fashion enthusiasts. Celebrity endorsements play a significant role as well, with influential personalities proudly wearing Gucci and becoming brand ambassadors. Additionally, Gucci employs various forms and channels of promotion to target the upper end market and reach their desired audience. Social media is also a powerful tool for Gucci, allowing them to engage with their followers, showcase their fashion products, and create a strong online presence. Thank you all for watching and engaging. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Gucci. Do you own any Gucci products or have your eye on something in particular? Drop your views and answers in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and share. Bye for now and see you again soon.